Hi, this is Megan for Beadaholic, and today I'm going to show you how to do a brick stitch with more than one bead per stitch. So it's called a multiple drop or multi drop brick stitch. And anytime you're doing a brick stitch, you're going to start with a row of ladder stitch first. So you can go ahead and watch the video how to do ladder stitch bead weaving to see how to do ladder stitch. And I'm going to do a two bead per stitch brick stitch. So you're going to start with a row of ladder stitch that has two beads per stitch. And once you have your ladder stitch, then you can go ahead and start in with the rest of your brick stitch. The ladder stitch is going to be your foundation row and you want to go ahead and make that as long as you want your brick stitch to be wide because it's going to end up going that way. The other thing to keep in mind with a brick stitch is it will naturally lose one stitch per row. It will decrease and so you need to do an increase on the ends like you would see in the video for how to do a regular brick stitch bead weaving. For um, my purposes I'm going to go ahead and let it decrease so that you can see the angle. One of the reasons you might want to use multiple beads per stitch in brick stitch is to make the angle less severe. So it will be more gradual this way. I'm going to go ahead and use different color beads for each row so you can see where the rows start and finish. And for this purpose I'm using larger beads that are size 8 and just white wildfire so that you can see the, uh, the threads. But you would of course want to use a thread that would match your beads a little bit more when you're doing this for a project. So you're going to take your foundation row, which is your ladder stitch row. You're going to thread four beads onto your needle. You want to make sure to have your thread with the needle coming up to the left. That's the front side of your piece. And then you're going to come right back up through the first two to make a loop. And you can kind of hold it closer down while you pull on it so that it doesn't end up really far up your thread. And then scooch it down closer to your other work. Then you're going to bring your needle back down through the other two beads and when you're using smaller beads it won't move around so much also. Okay, Then you're going to skip the first loop of thread and bring your needle from the back to the front through the second loop and then back up through the last two beads. And once you pull that tight, you should see your beads form two rows of two. And that's the way you'll start every row on the brick stitch. So for your next stitch, you just pick up two. You only use four at the start of the row. And through the thread loop and back up through the beads. And you get two more. And you'll come up through the thread loop. And go back up through your beads. And you're going to continue that way across all the thread loops on the top of the row. until you get to the last one and you just finish the last stitch exactly the same as the other ones. And then you're going to flip it around so that your needle and thread is on the left hand side again. And again when you start the row you pick up double the amount of beads. So if you're using two per stitch you'd pick up four. You could use 
three, four, you could use any number of beads per stitch that you want with this. Keep that in mind and it will just make it a more gradual decrease in. It'll make it a little bit of a wider row that you're making. So I'm just gonna do another row so that you can see what the decrease looks like. So you put your four beads on, bring your thread back up through the first two to make a loop, down through the next two and through the second loop of thread. And then back up through those last two beads. And sometimes the beads get a little turned around. If you use your needle, you can make them lay nice and straight. So once you get a few rows, you can really see how it will naturally decrease. You'll lose one stitch per row. So if you started with seven, this one has six, this one will only have five, and so on. And the more beads per stitch you use, the more gradual of an angle that decrease will be. And one more. Up through there. Up through the threads and back through the beads. So you can see that losing one stitch per row gives it that gradual decrease. It will all, um, eventually it will go all the way to a point. And you can see in this project that I used this stitch for, the kind of shape that you'll end up with, with the two beads per stitch. So I used two instead of one because I didn't want it to be a short triangle. I wanted to make it a little bit longer. So that's the same kind of shape. It's just a much smaller bead. These were size 11. And then once you get as far as you want, you can take it all the way to a point where you can stop it you know, as just as long as you want. Then you're going to tie off your thread and integrate it back into your beadwork, which you can see how to do in our video, how to tie off and add new thread in bead weaving. And that is how you make a brick stitch with more than one bead per stitch.